Good morning, guys. It is moving day. Um, I'm kind of shaking because just shit hit the fan overnight. Apparently, I woke up to messages about how I'm banned from the barn. Just, I'm not going to get into it. Um, I would like to think that I've always tried to uphold pretty neutral posting, and I'm still looking to do that. So I'm not going to go into the details. Um, so I, it's like seven o'clock. I can't sleep anymore and I have a major headache. Um, so the only thing you need to know is that I will not be filming, um, on the property until G is leaving. And then, um, hopefully the rest of this vlog will be a little more upbeat and we'll do some like food prep and stall prep and other stuff at the new barn. Um, it's been a morning. I just, I'm too tired for this. I, I'm just, I'm done. So uh, let's go ahead and see what I have packed in my car already. And we're just gonna make this a better day than it started out as. Okay, so in my car, I have both sets of my boots, which I probably won't be riding for a while while G settles in and gets his ulcers taken care of. Um, I cleaned my saddle, so that's good. And I'm about to sell my extra saddle that doesn't fit him anymore, so that's awesome. Um, saddle pads, I've got um, a new blanket for the blanketing system. I've got his um, supplements and omeprazole and a uh, nameplate for his new stall, so that's all set over there. And then I also have my bridle, which is clean and in there. And then in the trunk, I'm loaded up with his feeding supplements and bin, which I won't really need anymore, but it has the cups in it that I want and the clipper kit. So that is all set from the barn. Okay, so now I've got all of these that I'm gonna throw in my car. My thin line did not really come clean, but I think it's cause this is from the leather stain, so it's not gonna wash out. And then I did wash my girth, which looks like it may have shrunk even though I didn't dry it. So I'm gonna load those up in the car and then maybe try to nap since I've been up crying and being upset for like the last two hours. So I want today to be a happy day. Today needs to happen. And so I'm gonna load this up and take a nap and then we are gonna go get G. Sorry for the unflattering camera angle. I'm on my way out to go get G. I um, feel like I'm going to throw up. I'm really upset. Um, I took some anxiety meds just so I would stop shaking. Uh, didn't end up getting any more sleep this morning. Took a lot of headache medication and ice packs on my head to try and get myself calmed down a little bit. So we are almost to the barn. I have confirmed that my um, trailering arrangements are still on for this morning, so we shouldn't have any troubles there. And yeah, I hope I get to say bye to my friend Dana before her lesson starts at 11. I'm trying to make it out there at like 1045 so that I can say bye to her because she has been always very kind to me and I'm going to miss riding with her. We've lessened together for... A long time now years and it's gonna be very weird not spending my Saturday mornings with her so I will update you guys when we have G moving off we go guys he literally basically ran to the trailer and got on it before I even freaking was in front of him um, he's crying, obviously, but he went on all by himself. So good. It was a little slippery. Um, yeah, he was the goodest boy. Okay, back to the unflattering angle. Um, he was so good. He just jumped right on by himself. Let me get him hooked up. Like, no big deal. He was a champ. Um, he is crying because I think he realized he's the only horse on the trailer, so he's a little upset. Um, so now I'm just following them back and we should be there in about 20 minutes and hopefully he'll get all settled in.
Okay, so I've got baggies and I've got all his supplements and ulcer medication and I'm gonna go ahead and make his baggies. Okay, so I made a week's worth of feed um, to help get him converted over and then he gets fed twice a day now so I just split the amount between and then I have his ulcer guard too for 16 days. Okay, I'm gonna walk G around. It looks like the horse's stall that he'll be in is currently getting loaded. Um, so he'll get switched, but I thought I might, if he's calm enough, just walk him around the barn and take a look and the other horses are in today so he can meet them and literally can't even cry anymore today because like everybody has, the person who picked up G was so nice and everybody here has been so nice in introducing themselves and Gideon, like he knew he was going somewhere because he just hopped in that trailer no problems hopped right off no problems no issues with the garage doors he's a little spooky with some of the dogs running around but he has been awesome he's made two new friends he likes to sniff through the stall bars he can stick his head out now he's been eating hay so i am just really impressed i am so impressed with how he has behaved today and i think that alone is a testament to how he truly is and i hope everybody here learns to love him and I know his Auntie Leisha will take good care of him, getting him used to his pasture and his new friend and his watering system and all that. So I'm gonna go spend a little time with him before I leave and we'll wrap up the vlog. <laughs> He's so handsome. He's so handsome. Yeah, there's a door there. Okay, well, I don't really have anything planned to wrap out this vlog. Um, I didn't get as much footage as I wanted, like um, just the hostility of the whole situation yesterday changing. Um, I was just gonna video him loading up, um, but he did it so fast that I didn't even have a chance to give Paul my camera because he just saw the trailer and loaded himself. Um, and then getting there, Paul accidentally filmed the wrong, like, direction, which is fine. I made it work. And then, um, there was just so much to do. Like, everyone was so welcoming and introducing themselves right away that, like, it was kind of, it would have been weird to film, like, interactions with other people. So, and I try not to do that. Um... And the barn owner was there right away to help us get our blankets set for their blanketing system to make sure that he was settled in and eating and using the automatic waterer right away. And then helped with some paperwork and getting me all situated in the feed room to make up all of his feed for the next week. And then I just said a quick goodbye to him uh, by the time I went back up there to kind of hang out with him and maybe take him around. Um, there were like so many people, like it was, it was prime time at that point and I didn't want to like try and bring him past other horses yet. Um, so I, I just figured it was enough of an overwhelming day for him that just being in a nicely bedded stall with all the hay he could imagine was probably going to be a good stopping point <laughs> for the day. Um, and I, I don't know where we go from here. Um, he's going to be on ulcer prevention doses between ulcer guard and abprazole for 46 days. Um, I will probably ride him before 46 days. Um, there's just a lot going on at the barn. Um, I have to get him used to uh, the arena is attached to the barn with garage doors that are, are like automatic and there's also a door from the lounge that goes into the barn and so I have to get him used to those sounds because that's how Alicia fell off in her first lesson. <laughs> Sorry Alicia, I just had to um, and I don't want that to happen so um, it's gonna take some time. He is going out in the pasture so sadly one of the horses um, 
that he was going to go out with passed away. Older horse lived a really good long life. Um, and then another person or another person, another horse that was going to be in that pasture as well is the one that actually left and that's whose stall he took. And so there's an, the one other horse that was going to be in that pasture is also relatively new. They just arrived last Saturday or last Monday, something like that. And so it's, they weren't out much because of the extreme cold we've had the last week. And um, so staff is going to be trying to acclimate both of them at the same time. So they're going to meet today, which is Sunday. Um, and then G's never used or like been in a pasture with electric fencing, I don't think. So he's going to have to figure that one out the hard way, unfortunately. Because, um, well, I'm hoping with having 24-7 access to hay with being outside and having a friend, I'm kind of hoping that he won't be pacing along the pastures anymore. Um, so I will be going out later today. Um, stalls don't get cleaned on Sundays, but I'm totally fine with that because I'm always picking G stall anyways to make sure he's in a clean bed. So I will be going out later this afternoon to meet Alicia, who's going to like just walk me through protocol and stuff, um, where everything is, you know, how much bedding I can use, that sort of thing. Um, and I'll make sure his bed is all cozy for him. And if he's doing well outside, I have no intentions of bringing him inside because I, this is his time. This is his time to decompress. And I don't want to interfere with that. I just want him to go back to being his old goofy self and making some friends. So this is, I guess, where I'm ending out the final and third installment of our moving vlog series. Um, it was really bittersweet, like rewatching the original video, um, which was filmed closer to the time when I originally gave my notice versus the beginning of this video, which was the day of moving and how things just can so drastically change. And, um, I've had overwhelming support, um, on TikTok and from friends and I have people that I will still keep mutuals. And I just know, you know, last night I slept really well. Um, I had terrible anxiety all day yesterday. I took so much medication just to stop shaking and try and control my emotions because I was very upset and hurt yesterday, but also overwhelmed and excited for this new journey. And I, um, yeah, I just, I couldn't really eat anything yesterday. So I was kind of sick from that. And so I just had like a little candy bar before bed to like boost my sugar a little bit and took one of my anxiety meds to help me sleep. And I slept pretty good and I actually feel really good this morning. Um, still, you know, sad and just things really didn't turn out the way that I anticipated. And, um, but I'm excited for what's to come, so. Hope you guys stick around. Not sure what content's gonna look like in the next, you know, upcoming months. Hopefully some riding videos, grooming videos, stall cleaning videos. And we're just gonna be a low key chill channel. And you know, if you like that sort of thing, stay. Check out my TikTok. I probably post there more because I have a shorter, more creative ideas and I do those on TikTok. So I hope to see you guys there and Thank you for your support and following me in this incredibly wild journey that I've been on. And we'll see you guys in the next one.